everybody. How we doing? Welcome to Red Dead Redemption Part 4. Winter's over. Spring has begun. We are set up in our all-new camp. So there's a nearby town. We go there and visit. A lot of crazy stuff happens there, so you definitely want to check that out. Last part of this video, we finally find out where the O'Driscolls are holding up. We find out where their camp is. So we go pay them a visit. Great ending to the video. Hope you guys are enjoying. Seems like this is going to be a pretty long game. Going to have a lot of good content for Red Dead Redemption 2. I would like to cover some mods here in the near future as well. So do expect a lot of good videos. Remember, hit the like button. Leave me a comment. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. I'd appreciate it. Let's get in to part four. guys here we are it's been a few days since i played i have been so busy working uh it is friday i'm recording this and uh i got the whole week off i don't go back to work till monday so very exciting so i think i need to change my clothes let's go find out where that is I think that's my tent right over here so let's see here it looks like this is my clothes Nice. Looks good to me. All right. New outfit. Very sexy. Beard is getting long. You can use the shaving kit beside your tent or visit a barber shop. This looks like a shaving kit right here. Nice. He looks very clean. What do I want? Slick or no slick? We are neatly shaven. All right, where are we gonna go first? So, Uncle needs to speak to you. That is provisions, camp food supplies, and a camp member is free to take. What's this, health supplies? Money I just donated, Arthur's lodging is used to store camps, I'm in supplies, any camp. Keep the wagon well stocked, gotcha. And the butcher. All right, what's that? Arthur's horse. No, let's go to Arthur's horse. And then the uncle. Ow! Oh, oh, oh! Careful not to work yourself to death, there, uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing. Killing, lying, fighting to try to survive. You get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Oh, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. If you gonna take the old man into town, you can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take mm -hmm. them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on, then. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment to civilization. <laughs> Ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Yep. Oh, 
Finally get to see other people. Lady, sing us a song. a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. <laughs> Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society so we got a gunsmith here. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Ooh. See what we got here. This is the down the <laughs> downtown. Sure, you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, it. yes, we can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. The blacksmith Let's park down the end there, near the stables. Ooh. I wouldn't believe it unless I'd seen it. <laughs> All right. Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. <laughs> we'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. and Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. I imagine Paris and Dallas. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. <laughs> this is the place now. Come on. Let's do it, bud. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Oh, neat. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Let me know if you have any questions, fellas. Where is... Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Coffee. That's coffee right there. Uh, bye. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. What do we got here? We got some shoes. No, well, guess not. Let's see what you got for sale here, bud. Oh, sweet. Got like an old Sears so, Roebuck uh, catalog. You're actually buying for once? Those are pretty cool. I like those. Got them. Got some new pants, or oh, it's because I'm wearing my chaps. Cool. Oh, here's to your good health, sir, <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, Oop, I, got pretty I think drunk. I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. 
train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out there in New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel, they were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? <laughs> Seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Uh -oh. Excuse me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. Get the fuck You're out of here. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go wait with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. You're welcome. Uncle! Look after her. I will go see about Karen in the hotel. Hot meals. Well, we ain't getting in there. Damn horse kicked me off again. Can I help you, sir? I, d I do all I can manage. Are you doing all you can? Huh? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. To b Like I said, as far as I know, they're in 2B. No trouble now, please! Friend of hers. <laughs> Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Nice hey, long shot there, bud. You goddamn animal. Come here. I paid for nothing. Oh, thank you. Last time. Avoid me. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. Well, she's you pretty sure? beat up. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard, stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. Uh, everything's okay up there? After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched uh, me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you please with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, oh, please, buddy, somebody. come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. No, Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Oh, we got a chase. Please. Just bone it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. No, no. Jesus, where the heck is this guy taken? Oh shit! 
Victor, please! I'm sorry! Please, do something! Why are you telling lies about me? No, no! I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now, please help me up. I ain't never been in Blackwater. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now, please, pull me up. Please. I can't hold on much longer. All right, come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense. <laughs> in this year old mind. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. I have a feeling uh, we'll see him again. Okay, girl. So. So that we have to go back and get our horse. What are we looking for? Let's check out the saloon. We got a wild one here. <laughs> hey, all right, there we go. Ladies at the bar. Oh, Arthur, Arthur, come here, come here, come over here. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a tough as teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. <laughs> well, I must say. You got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it Are easy, you about pal. to kiss that guy or punch him? Huh? Oh, oh, shit. Motherfucker. Oh, he got knocked cold. Uh oh. Look at this big burly son of a bitch. Come here, you little greaser. Oh, I got you, bud. Oh shit. Yeah, you like a huge son of a bitch. We can deal with these 
fellers. Don't get hey. out here. Tough guy. Uh oh. Oh shit. You want some too, huh? Come on, pretty boy. Pretty boy. You're kidding me. Pretty boy. Knock his head off. Come on, let's see it. You can't be the. Yeah. You okay there, Arthur? Yeah. I got this son of a bitch. Don't take that from him. That's right. Put that in here now. Come on. Oh, damn it, get up. Come on, Arthur. Big boy. No. Go on, Tommy. That's right. Hail that beast, Ray Morgan. Show him how we do it down time. Beat his ass. Stop. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Covered in Making new friends mud and again, shit. I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. Well, well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, <laughs> always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater, uh, ah, well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. Where can I get cleaned up at? Ain't nobody got a heart. Saloon back in '76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. You it's guys not wasted. bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Who's your friend there? <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. <laughs> this is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, you kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. 
I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. Then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters, legends, every last one. Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, Billy Midnight, Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. It does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. Hmm. How you doing there? Howdy. Look out, hey must there, pal. Can you help me? Yes, I need a bath. No, oh, it's uh you. Yes, it is. Last time I checked. I, I really don't need any more trouble. I didn't come to make any. I was just protecting a lady. Well, all behind us now, I suppose. So what is it you need? A, a bath, perhaps? What's happening to this place? North got himself run out of town by his own people. Uh -huh. I just signed up for I just asked for a bath. Mm. Oh, we just walked back to it. Nice. Very nice. Would you like someone to take over for you? Yes, I would. Sure, why not? You can just leave it to me now. Let me know if you'd like a bit of an extra scrub anywhere. I'll be out of your hair in no time. <laughs> oh, been a tough few weeks. Oh, really? All right, I think I'm good. Bye, hun. Are my clothes gonna be clean too? Nice, I am fresh and clean. Nice.
time. Let's go to back to the camp. is reported. Hi there, Arthur. Let's get some chow. Dude tied up over there? Evening, Arthur. Oh, that's the guy we got earlier. When's this going to end? Speak. Don't cry, boy. Speak about your gang. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> boy. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? <laughs> I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Oh, shit. You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on. <laughs> uh, who am I kidding? <laughs> One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Huh? Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. You know, in Imperial Rome, Unix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. No, you kidding me, right? A court. You sick bastard! So, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Oh. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you, no offense. Oh, none taken. <laughs> okay then, partner. Uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. Oh, I ain't no O'Driscoll. Are you sure as shit was? John, Bill, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, you kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respects. He taking us to Cole? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. 
Saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like. God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might. I was asked to give them. And I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me? Instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey. Hey. If, if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah. I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. Williamson, Williamson. What, Morgan? Just to say, well, even you can't screw up killing O'Driscoll's. Funny. And I guess you're good here. Unless some soft-handed feller comes along and tells you you've gone too far. What are you talking about? Fighting that big bullock up in Valentine? How wise you think beating a man to death would have been? With all them folks looking on, when we supposed to be laying low. I saw your eyes, Morgan. You didn't go clever, you went soft. Uh, I'll take it. After all, you are an authority on not being clever. The captive gets a little cough in his throat, looks at you with some big doe eyes. You gonna let Comb go free? I was fighting Comb when you was pretending to fight Indians. Don't call my record into question. It's your abilities that call your... Record into question, Bill. Now we go left. Uh, the road will take us up and round. Those are the hills. Head for them. Save your horses. We gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and, uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us, then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them. You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law, nature. You're out for yourselves. See, this is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live, free. Cohen's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is, Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boys, we're almost on them. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, we can end years of fighting. Here and now. Amen to that. Here, here. I swear, this is where he was. Shut up. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet. Taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. 
With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. Whoa. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said... Easy. Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now, come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Hey, there, there, you see? Okay, get down. Cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Wary of strangers, yep. And Colm O'Driscoll? Well, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The feller that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. I'm gonna deal with this first fella. Okay. Go to work. Look how the rays just hit him as he's peeing. So beautiful. I'll be stood guard duty. Son of Oh shit. Shit, how the fuck did he hear me? So cool. Leave him. Calm's 
still here. Hey, he said Cohen's be in the cabin. I'll check. You look out here. Now, what you stashing in here? Woo! Getting a little better hang of the controls. Shot him. You all right? Sure. Well, this Thank this you. fucking a no way. Como Driscoll. What a shithole. He ain't here. You set us up. Come here. What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Como Driscoll ain't here. He was here. I swear. I, I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. You lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como just was going to lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp quick. See, Arthur? I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. <laughs> yeah, right you are. What was that I picked up? What's that on the floor? Ooh, double barrel shotgun. I dropped my weapon. Sweet. Hmm. Interesting. I gotta figure out how to use that. There we go. Well, at least you got something tucked away. Six hundred bucks. Nice. Missing anything? Biscuits? Home oh, search cabinet. Tuck bourbon. Get out of here before some bounty hunters catch up to me. We'll head back to camp. <laughs> 